Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. We're going to do a, a cane run today, and we're going to try to go to the alternate path. I'm choosing cane for two reasons. First of all, if you beat the uh, one of the alternate pathways with cane, um, you unlock uh, another guppy item that gets added to the item pool. So it makes it easier to become Guppy. And also, uh, Kane is just a really strong character. So I think the odds of us actually successfully defeating the alternate path are higher, you know, and being able to see more of it. Uh, so we're gonna do, that was just, a, that was bad life choices. Why, why, why would you let yourself? It's fine, we're okay. Anyway, as I was saying, Kane is just a really strong character because he starts with increased damage. He doesn't uh, get bad pill effects. He has better luck. He, he has more chances of being successful when doing gambling stuff like uh, playing the uh, demon judgments or the slot machines or like any of that kind of stuff. Like, he, he, oh, and we get a cancer trinket right there. Okay, so it's going to be that kind of a run. Although, the thing with the cancer trinket is like is good yeah probably still roll cancer trinket over i don't know that's actually kind of tough do we go cancer trinket or do we go paper clip i think given that we've just given ourselves a pretty large rate of fire decrease via monstro's lung i think we'll go cancer trinket that just seems like a good idea. Oh, mistimed that just a little bit. Dead and dead. Pretty good item, honestly. Uh, take Jesus Juice, and we will do one more. No, you know what? We'll, we'll go straight to the alternate path. Let's do it. Um, I want to show you guys the whole thing. So basically, the alternate path starts after the first floor. You need a few different things to continue on it. Uh, to, to start it, you need a key to open the door. Um, to get to the second part of the alternate path, you need uh, two bombs. And then to get to the third part, you need two HP. And then the fourth and final part of the alternate path, you need uh, essentially an item that you put together via stuff that you find along the way. There we go. So far, so good. Uh, and the alternate path has different enemies, different levels, different bosses. Um, it, it's actually quite interesting. Uh, I will spend one bomb right here to try and blow up both of those. Ah, only got one. That's fine. All right, there's our first boss. Um, I think the optimal way to do alternate path when you're playing by yourself or when you're not playing like Jacob and Esau, for example, is essentially to do the first two floors and then jump onto the alternate path. But for the sake of this this particular episode we will uh we'll try the whole alternate path there are some benefits even if you don't plan to actually fight the boss and stuff on the uh i'm also gonna go deals with the angel um even if you don't plan to fight the boss here like at the end of this path there are still some benefits to going to the alternate path anyway like if you're like say you're on a run where your final goal is to i don't know defeat mega satan or something like that and go to the, the dark room or the chest. There's still some merit to going to the alternate path. Uh, you know what? I'll take Book of Secrets. It's probably good enough. Um, the big thing there is you saw when we went into the item room, there were two items. One that you can see and one that you can't. So if you walk in and there's an item that you see and it's a bad item, cause you're like, I know I don't want this. It's just not good. Uh... There's, you know, you, you can choose the other one. And that doesn't necessarily mean the other one's going to be good. But you know that the first item is going to be bad, so why not double check? 
All right, so now this is floor two of downpour of the alternate path. Uh, and this is a floor with a secret. This is how you get the first piece of a thing. That is a tinted rock right there. Actually, that might be a, a super tinted rock. Also, uh, thank you for just randomly giving me a, an item. There we go. They <laughs> just gave us a golden chest. Really? Two bombs for a golden chest. Oh. Oh, the damage. Yo. <laughs> okay. Like right here, for example, I'll totally take Odd Mushroom. It's a nice rate of fire increase. Gets our rate of fire up uh, basically as high as it can go. Slight damage decrease, but uh, still probably worth it. Um, and I'd like to make it to the... Oh. Well, we ruined our deal chance. I'd like to make it to the shop and potentially buy a spirit heart. Yep. Thank you. And then we fight this boss. He's annoying. But we can beat him. He's not that hard once you learn his patterns. When he does the little tail spike attack thing, you just need to keep moving around the room. And then he'll fly out like that. And then the fight's basically done. Alright. Um, so, first things first, let's spend two bombs right here. To make sure that we open up this. This is the next floor in the alternate pathway. And then we gotta go do the secret. So, first things first. Um, come over. You know, we can also check the secret room for free. So if you run into the fires, it will turn you into another character called the Lost. The Specifically the... What? Uh, excuse me? I was the Lost? I had shielding? I haven't unlocked... No, Holy Mantle should be... Maybe you still have to unlock it? They changed it in uh, Repentance, where Holy Mantle is now built into the loss, but I bet you still have to unlock it. Which is why we died. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, let's try this again, and let's try to not be bad this time. So then, hmm, that changes some things a little bit. Because it means we'll want to do less than I originally planned to on the second path. But that's fine. That was actually a pretty good run, too, unfortunately. That's alright, we're learning things. We're, we're, we're learning together. I mean, I kind of already know, like, how the alternate path works. Like, on my personal not-YouTube save file, I've got, like... I think pretty much all of the tainted characters unlocked and all that kind of stuff. Ankh is just terrible. Uh, you know what? I'm going to reroll this. Let's let's just go until we find something a little better than Ankh. <laughs> sure. That's good enough. I don't want to be picky, but... Like, Ankh is just not it. Eh, hey, respawn is blue baby when you die. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, when you die... You don't really want to respawn as Blue Baby, of all things. Because, like, the thing with Blue Baby... Blue Baby's not a bad character. But I find that Blue Baby kind of... You need to tailor the run around Blue Baby's strengths, you know? So when you tailor a run around Kane's strengths, and then suddenly you're Blue Baby, you find yourself in a bit of a pickle. Uh, all right, we've got one key... Uh, I'm not going to go to the alternate path immediately this time. I'll start it with the second floor of the downpour. Okay, there we go. Grab this. We're going to need to scrounge up a bomb or two. Oh, yep. Okay. It's fine. Contagion's going to do so much work right here. Beautiful. Uh, bar of Soap is a rate of fire increase. Beautiful. 
And now we're going to go down to the next floor. The reason I think that this is the optimal way to go is that Basement 2, or in this case, Burning Basement 2, is, in my opinion at least, much easier than either of the uh, the alternate floor pathways for the, that you would be on instead. And you can still get to the alternate floor here. So I think the optimal way to do it is to play the first two levels normally, unless you're playing co-op and, and you want that other item room. Um, I think you're better off doing these two floors, not taking damage, or being less likely to take damage at least, and then jumping over to the alternate floor afterwards. I think that's the, the way to go. Okay. Big Chubby, not so great. It's a familiar that charges forward and attacks enemies. It's so it, very slowly, by the way, which is the problem with it. It does a lot of damage and it does block shots, um, but also like enemies don't stand still that long. I will spend one bomb to get two bombs. That is a great trade. Okay. Contagion is helping. Now we just got to get rid of you. No point in going to the shop. I've got no money. Work our way over here. Easiest room of my life. Keep going. We got little spiders. Okay. There's one. And this is almost certainly a secret room, so I'll check. It's not. Okay, I stand corrected. It's probably the room previous then. That's fine, though. Yeah, Big Chub is just doing, like, nothing. It's just you're such a bad familiar. There we go. There he did some work, finally. See, all you got to do is insult him a little bit. Just call him bad, and then he'll be like, oh, please, let me make it up to you by taking out the remaining quarter of this boss's health in one go. All right, so now we're on the, ultimate, the alternate path, and you can see we're on downpour two. We're on the second floor of the alternate path already. I think this is definitely worth a bomb. Um... Okay, we're n now we're going to need to scrounge up another bomb, but that is doable. These enemies are terrible. I hate them so much. The little the yellow flies are just the worst. They're not so bad in a room that has fires, because you can run them into the fires. But in rooms without, those guys are awful. Like, they might actually be my new least favorite enemy in Repentance. And there's some really annoying enemies in repentance if we're being honest all right there we go we got our bombs back we need those to get on to the next part okay there we go these guys are the same but bigger just terrible okay uh i mean i've got bombs so I'm okay spending a couple to look for a secret room and not finding it. Let's look for our item room next. And we're just going to try really hard not to get hit here. Because we have, you know, our deal chance is not looking great right now. I mean, honestly, I should go fight the boss. I should fight the boss now while I still have a, a, a like... If I get hit, so be it. But... Ah, I was really hoping... Okay, it worked. Contagion got in there and did something. Oh, okay, this is the attack that's scary. He does that. There's a, a point where he'll do that same attack, that, like, jumping one. Yep, okay, there goes the deal chance. I just... I need damage. <laughs> you're, you're killing me, game. Kind 
Come on. I mean, we've gotten one rate of fire increase, which is good. But at the same time, that I can't help but say that like that is not damage. What is this pill? It's something. I mean, being Kane, these are all going to be good pills. So, like, it's fine, but none of them were actually helpful. <laughs> I suppose the HP the HP up was moderately helpful. Uh, we do, however, have one HP right now, which means we can go back and do the boss trap room over here and get another boss item, which could work out for us. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take the screw. It's a rate of fire increase. We need DPS. And that is DPS, even if it's not actual damage, it is still, like, it's still quite good. Oh, I got hit. We might die here. We'll see. Careful. Be very careful. This guy... Honestly, I think the best thing... Never mind. I was going to say the best thing to do is to circle around him. But, uh... Nah. Okay, one more... Attempt. We will try one more time. See how it goes. So far, not so good. Okay, thank you for all going down. Ultimately, instead of going up and around where I would have gotten hit. There we go. One more to go. Beautiful. Uh, you know what? No risk it, no biscuit. But it's the first floor. That was definitely not worth it. <laughs> Thank you for the troll bomb game. Game has just kind of been a little bit trolly today. Not gonna lie. You know, I recorded yesterday's daily episode approximately five minutes before... Or I don't actually know. Is this the third? No, dude, just kidding. A daily episode was two days ago. The Lilith one. Two days ago for you. For me, it was like an hour. Because the thing is, I record like all these Isaac episodes in batches of, like, anywhere from, like, four to seven at once. You know, I basically just sit down and play Isaac until I'm like, okay, I'm done playing Isaac now, or until my voice starts to give out, <laughs> whichever comes first. So, like, for me, it's kind of hard to sometimes keep track. Mom's wig and hive mind in the shop. What a combo. Um, so, for me, sometimes it's hard to keep track about, like, which episodes come out which days, because, like... I'm spe you're 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 in the future. I'm speaking to you from the past. Uh, <laughs> you know, by the time this video comes out, it's going to be probably like a week from now from the time it was recorded. But yeah, Mom's wig plus uh hive mind is like real good. That's an amazing combo. There's two items that synergize very well and that are both Pretty darn good. It's going to be a lot of extra sort of passive damage over the course of the run, so we're super happy about that. Basically just going to let Hive Mind get in there and make spiders. You know, Mom's Wiggle makes spiders. Hive Mind will double the damage of those spiders. And spiders already do two times your normal damage. So, like... We can see our damage is 4.2. That means each of these spiders does 8.4 damage. But then Hive Mind doubles that. So they do 16.8 damage, if I can math in my head, while also trying to commentate. That's much harder than you might think, by the way. People are like, wow, Wells, you're so bad at math. I'm like, yeah, have you ever tried to like have a conversation with people and also math at the same time? Are we at full HP? Yeah, I guess we are. Okay. Uh, first floor. It's like, I'm actually not terrible at math. I just am not good at having a conversation while mathing without a calculator or a pen and pencil. You know? Uh, Wells, how come you don't understand that the uh, square root 
of 625 is i'm like yeah you think i can do that in my head without a calculator nah also like do you know the last time that i actually needed to remember the square root of something i'm gonna tell you it was like probably 15 years ago well no probably not that long ago because i did take a a couple math classes in college so it was like 10 years ago It's been a little while. Like, you know, teachers or people, students will say all the time, like, when am I ever going to use this teacher? When am I ever going to use trigonometry? And the teacher's like, mm, well, you know, when you go to college, you might. Golden Razor. What does this do? Hold on. Golden Razor. Plus five coins when picked up. When used, this item takes away five of your coins. And gives you damage. Up. Okay, so this is essentially a razor, but it takes your money. Interesting. What a cool item. Um, anyway, <laughs> you know, teachers are like, hey, you'll use it for university. You'll use it if you ever get into like STEM careers. You'll use it for. Let me tell you something. I have never, ever, had the need to use trigonometry <laughs> in real life. Okay, ever. I've never even really had the need to use actual, like, algebraic formulas in real life. Now, granted, I'm a YouTuber, not a rocket scientist. But at the same time, it's not as helpful as you might think. Unless you're going into a career specifically that involves lots of math. And I'm not talking about, like, data entry or statistics. Okay? Uh... Math is like the one, the one subject in school that I just truly disliked. <laughs> I wasn't bad at it, honestly. Like I was pretty much a straight A student back when I was in high school and, and college. Uh, straight A's and the occasional B. But like, math was just so boring. It was just so boring. I just hated every moment of it. It's like, I don't know. I was, you know, to give you a little perspective, I was going to be, an, before I went down the path of YouTube and before I got uh, out of the military, the plan was to be an English teacher. Uh, and I actually had like a fair amount of university completed to become an English teacher. I pretty much only had to finish my, stu my student teaching. Uh, and then I got deployed, which kind of threw a wrench into my plans. But the point is... <laughs> uh, I'm not an unintelligent person, and I don't have a disdain for education. <laughs> I recognize the value of education, but I do not recognize the value of trigonometry, okay? <laughs> it's just, who is ever going to use that? I'm just, I'm like, you know, like, you know who uses trigonometry? Math teachers <laughs> to teach their students trigonometry. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> and maybe like NASA. <laughs> I don't know. What is trigonometry even supposed to be used for? I don't know. That's a bad item. Uh, okay, we're down. Oh no, I meant to go to the alternate path and I walked into the trap door instead. Dang it. Well, the good news is we can go to either path because we haven't, uh, <laughs> now it's too late. Now we can't do the alternate path anymore. Uh, well, although technically I think you can do a different alternate path? Maybe? Can you do that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if- I think we can. We'll find out. We'll try another- we'll try the other one. But I don't know if it's gonna be a thing or not. Anyway, <laughs> now I got sidetracked. See, this is why I shouldn't talk about things other than the game. My brain can't handle it. I get distracted, and then I do stupid things, like not taking the alternate path, which was the whole point of the video. You know whose fault it is? My trigonometry teachers. I blame you, Mr. Stevens. <laughs> there we go. Okay, range up is good. Be a little careful here. 
and last one. There we go. So there are actually multiple alternate pathways in the game. There's the one that we were on before, and that leads to... Ow. That leads to a boss called Mother, who is um, real... It was pretty hard. Um, and then there's also an alternate path that leads to uh, a secret floor called Home, which leads to the true final boss of the game. Also, Remy is decided that she has an itch and has decided to scratch with her collar immediately next to my vest. So if you can hear that in the background, uh, you know, it's fine. She's cute. It's worth it. Um, let's try out this uh, golden razor thing. That is a significant damage increase. Um, but yeah, I, like, I don't know. It's one of those things where... Um, I completely lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, alternate paths. We were talking about the alternate path. So there's multiple alternate pathways in the game. There's the one that leads to Mother, who is pretty hard, hard but fair. And then there's uh, the path that leads to Home, which is the secret path that we're going to attempt to do. I don't know if I need to unlock it separately from the other alternate path. I think you might have to beat Mother first once before you can go to Home, but... We'll find out, I guess. We'll see if it's a thing. And we can get on that pathway entirely. Uh, like, it, essentially you go to mom's foot. And then you do like one more floor and then you work backwards through all the previous floors. And that's supposedly the true ending of Isaac or whatever. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll take the hermit card. Because we're going to need a teleport card to get onto the alternate path anyway. Or, or the uh, the path to home anyway. So, like, eh. Uh, sure, we'll do it. Okay, thanks for blowing up in my face, Troll Bomb. Really thought I got out of the way there, but I guess not. And there are, like, two bosses in a row at the end of uh, the home path. You basically fight this super cool boss called Dogma, who's just honestly, like, a really cool... He's hard-ish. He's not that hard. He's sort of hard. Uh, pinking Shears? Honestly, I think I'd rather go with the Golden Razor, because if we can get a ton of money, it says that you can stack this infinity times... So my thought is, if we can get a bunch of money, we can use the Golden Razor on the final fight and just get, like, all the damage and potentially beat the game that way. Maybe. It's worth a shot. That is, if we even make it that far. Which, we haven't been having a lot of luck today, but it's fine. It's okay. Look at the spiders spawn. They're spawning like crazy. Now, unfortunately, spiders are useless on the last fight. <laughs> For a reason that you will... Uh, that will become clear if you actually see it. Alright. Let's go fight. Uh, where we've already fought the boss. Oh, there's a spike there, you fool. Well, at this point, now that we've hit the spike, we might as well go do the cursed room, right? You might as well check it. I found pills. Friends till the end. Okay. Don't run into a fire. That would be just a terrible decision. Don't run into a spike again. Like, I'm sure future alt path runs will go better. <laughs> But, you know, you gotta warm up sometimes. You need a little, like, a uh, little warm-up round. There we go. And I haven't played an alt path run since uh, Alexa and I collabed. Which, by the way, um, we've, got a, we've got more of that planned for the future. In, in fact, you may have already seen it. By the time this video comes out, I may end up reordering things, depending on when we decide we want to release them, and... 
Because, like, that's the thing with, with collaborations, right? Like, you can't just do a collaboration. You need to, like, find a time that works for both of you. And, like, he's got a life, and I've got a life, and, like... I know it would be great to just do, like, Alexa collabs all the time. But, like, we can't always do that. We both have schedules that we need to work around. You know, he has a, a, a regular traditional job as well, in addition to YouTube. So, like, he's got an actual work schedule. He can't just record whenever he wants. Like, but don't you worry. Alexa and I go way back. Like, we've known each other for years now. And we will be sure to do uh, collab, co-op episodes every so often. So, don't worry. It's not, I mean, it, it obviously can't be all the time. Because, as I said, schedules and things. But it can be, you know, we're, it is something that we are regularly talking about. I'm thinking probably like every every few weeks, I'm guessing, we'll do an episode or two. That would be my guess. We're still looking for our item room. I'd like to find the item room before we uh, fight the boss if we can. So we'll see how it goes. Also, you know, Legend of Zelda... Link's Awakening. If you haven't checked that series out, but you like Isaac, um, I highly encourage you to check that series out because, like, Isaac was heavily inspired by old-school Legend of Zelda games, and Link's Awakening is a modern remake of an old-school Zelda game. <laughs> so, like, there's a lot of similarities between the two. If you're watching Isaac and you're liking Isaac, you'll probably like Link's Awakening as well. Because, as I said, like, they're very, very similar. They're both dungeon crawlers. They're both, uh, you know, the, the actual, like, combat mechanics and stuff are pretty similar as well. There's just a lot more randomness to uh, Isaac as opposed to Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening, there's very little randomness. And there's not as much replayability. Isaac, you got replay... The, the reason I love Isaac so much from, like both the perspective of a player and as like a YouTuber content creator is that there's infinite replayability, right? You can like every Isaac run is different and it's all like nice and self-contained into roughly the perfect length for like one episode, sometimes a little longer, honestly, you know, like ideally I'd rather do like 30 minute Isaac videos or 30 minute videos of like any game for that matter. I find like 30 minutes is, is kind of the perfect length for YouTube stuff. 20 to 30 minutes, but you know, the Isaac, if you can do an Isaac episode in like 40 minutes, fine. It, it's still, you know, a pretty solid length and it's self-contained, you know, you don't have to watch episodes two and three to know what, what's going on in episode four, which is a huge benefit. And it's infinitely replayable. Unlike say, you know, a traditional AAA game, something like, I don't know, Halo or whatever. Like you can you can play through the story of Halo once. I mean, I suppose maybe that's a bad example because Halo does have multiplayer, but like from a single player perspective, you know, you can play through the story of Halo only so many times before you'd get really tired of watching it. <laughs> you know, because it's the same thing over and over again. Same is true of like most Zelda games. But when you get into stuff like Isaac, where every run is not only different, but also self-contained within a nice sort of bite-sized, you know, 30, 40 minute package. Like, it's kind of a perfect formula for YouTube content, which is why I love it so much. It's the type of series that you can realistically do infinity episodes on which is quite nice um yeah we'll use a moon card here the moon. i was hoping to find something a bit better than that also we're in a very precarious situation we might die right here yep okay <laughs> kind of saw that one coming but that's fine you know that's part of the game as well success and failure which i think is also what keeps it interesting i think if i won every single run the series would not be nearly as entertaining. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for me. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.